we are given velocity as a function of time we need to find x and the time when it is at a certain distance x and the distance covered during a given time t so we'll see one by one so first the x coordinate so velocity is a function of time so if we will write velocity as dx by dt then we can calculate the x so we'll write v in the form of dx by dt and then cross multiply and integrate x from 0 to x and t from 0 to t so this is the position at a given time so if you put these values here 6 10 and 20 you will get the positions of the particle at those times so here you can see that the position is again zero so it returns to origin why returns because at t is equal to zero also x is zero now when the particle is at a given distance so he is using the word distance not displacement but in this equation this x means displacement so we'll use this equation again and this time in place of x which is this uh, displacement will uh, we are going to put plus minus 10 is equal to v naught into t minus t square by 2 times tau and tau is given as 5 seconds so we'll have two equations both are quadratic so we'll get four solutions one of which will be a negative solution so which is not our answer the other three are our answers so these are the time periods when the distance from the origin is 10 centimeter but let's know the significance of this minus sign also so the particle started here at the origin and it moved forward and then came back so it hit the plus 10 mark 10 centimeter mark while going forward and backward and then while going backward again it hits the 10 centimeter mark on the minus x side so this negative value of time means if you go back in time minus 0.9 seconds then this particle would have been here so that's why we got one result in minus sign otherwise it just goes forward and comes back so it hits plus 10 and minus 10 both two two times now third part distance covered during the given time So let's find it in general let's find the general solution so we are given again we are rewriting the same things so this is given and this we derived now distance covered in a given time so we saw that at tau time the particle stops that is given in the question so up to t is equal to 0 to t is equal to tau distance and displacement are same it's a unidirectional motion I mean the uh, same same dimension so motion in 1d but just for simplifying I have drawn it like this so t less than tau the displacement and distance are same so this indicates the distance and this indicates the position which is displacement so we'll use our formula this one for displacement until t is equal to tau after it turns back the distance is more and displacement is less so you can see that at any general position the distance will be s1 let's call this s1 again s1 plus minus of x so x is negative you can see here but this indicates the distance between these two points so we'll put a minus sign to make it positive so now s1 is positive coming back s1 is again positive and minus x is also positive so distance is 2s1 plus of plus minus x so s1 is the displacement when its velocity is zero so from the first equation we'll get the s1 so if you put tau at tau time velocity is zero so we'll get that s1 is v naught tau by 2 so if we put that value here and for minus x we'll put the value here 
and this will be our answer. So here if you put the given values, you will get the answer. Yeah.